Hello, I'm Adam and this is a faulty battery from the Samsung Jet uh, 75 or uh, 90 uh, vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I've bought it for about uh, $25 just from the uh, curiosity. Uh, is it reparable or what, what I can do with it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, I've got my own Samsung Jet and I've got my working battery and uh, in this video I'm about to reverse engineer something uh, so maybe I will repair it or no or take apart, make a teardown video, not sure uh, yeah, so yeah we will see. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> okay, uh, at the very beginning uh, I'm about to check my pins, uh, but first I will check if you can see everything. Yes, you can see everything. Okay, uh, so as we can see there are markings uh, plus and minus and uh, we can check if those pins are uh, connected uh, together. Yes. Okay, so uh, now we, we know that uh, those two pins and those two pins are uh, connected uh, to get uh, more power uh, throughput, uh, so that's fine. Uh, the rest things, uh, what I got, those uh, pins on the edges are for charging, because if you check the uh, docking station, uh, of course you can put there a vacuum cleaner, but you can also put the battery there, like this. And uh, as we can see there are two pins, uh, which are going there. So, uh, summarizing, uh, two pins on the edges are for charging, uh, two pairs uh, of pins are for normal usage, and not sure uh, what's about the middle pin. I think it might be something uh, like activation. Uh, because, uh, let me check which is which. Uh, because when I was uh, trying to do anything, when we short it to ground, we can see the battery level uh, is lighting. So it might be some kind of communication, some kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, state checking, that's all what I can now uh, read from those pins. Uh, saying footer, uh, this thing uh, has the DC jack, uh, has the DC jack, and I measured the power supply voltage, it was uh, 25.92 volts. That's kind of weird. As we can see on the uh, sticker we've got there uh, nominally is 21.8.9 uh, uh, 21 uh, volt and I think that means it's charged 25.6 uh, so my charger is slightly over volting it and if we divide 25.6 volt uh, to for example, <laughs> not example 6, uh, we'll get a uh, 4.26 volts. Uh, so that's the very maximum uh, voltage that uh, those uh, cells could be, low, uh, could be charged. Yeah. Uh, so I assume there are about 6 cells. Uh, let's take a look for this one. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six well maybe there are bigger 21 700 but yeah that's how it should look inside okay and uh, and uh, that's about the voltage uh, by the way I yeah it's very dusty uh, there is plus there is minus and as we can see if I put it like this so it matches I mean 
uh, there is a plus for charging, there is a minus for charging, yeah? Okay, and uh, now let's uh, measure the voltages. And uh, uh, of course, oh my gosh, which one is which? Okay, on the right is a good one. And now if we measure the battery, uh, nothing to say because maybe it's some kind of secured thing, but if we take a let's say very main uh, minus side, so this one which is used for charging, and we check uh, oh, between the ground, let's say. I have no idea what is it, but it, it looks like there is a capacitor. But if we measure the plus side of the BMS of the BMS, we can see 24 volts. So now, let's say, uh, let's say I'm I'm like bypassing the BMS. Why? Uh, because uh, many BMSs are working like uh, disconnecting the ground wire. So it goes like uh, the ground wire to the BMS, uh, and from the BMS there is a let's say output ground wire which is used for the load yeah <coughs> so uh, and by using uh, this thing uh, i'm like bypassing the whole circuit whole uh, control circuit uh, of the output and i can measure the voltage on the cells the real one not the let's say bms turned off or the bms is turned on so the output of the bms yeah uh, but if we take a broken battery, we can see 20 volts too. We can see 20 volts. Uh, and now quick calculation, 20 volts divided by 6, it's uh, 3.33 volts per cell. And uh, is that okay or no? I'm, I think I'm close to break something. Uh, I use this plastic thing to go to this moment. And now I've got a little gap that I'm able to, yeah, finally, to break something. Yeah, so there are clips some kind of clips and I have to break them and yeah uh, as you heard click ah and went further now what's now Bam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So let's take a look how. Okay. And now you can see INR 21730T from Samsung. I've checked in the data sheet and uh, those cells are uh, three. Uh, 1000 milliampere hours uh, capacity and uh, the maximum current output from each of this cell is uh, 35 amps that means this uh, whole packet can output up to 880 watts uh, power yeah so that's amazing <laughs> okay and now let's take a look maybe inside if I'm able to uh, to move further okay. yeah okay yeah wow finally we've got it we are in and wow that's how it looks the BMS etc and uh, now we can see what are those pins uh, responsible and yeah 
as we can see there is C plus, C minus, so that means it's a charge plus, charge minus. P is the port, uh, so it's the output of the BMS. And P plus is yeah, the, the plus side of the battery. Uh, looks like uh, the plus side of uh, the battery. If the plus from the BMS uh, side. And yeah, that's how it looks. There is a programming uh, port. <laughs> that's interesting. But okay, uh, let's... Wow, this is very soft foam. <laughs> uh, let's measure the cells. Finally, directly. Uh, so, as we can see... B+. Plus. So, uh, this is my B. B-. Minus. And B1... 4.1 volts. Okay, this one is fully charged. Next. Okay, so it looks like we don't got the... Yeah, we don't got one cell, it's broken. And... What the? B minus B1, B2, B3. B4, B5, B6. Okay. <laughs> I, I just was looking for terminals to this battery. Okay, so uh, this battery, this cell is not working. And uh, next we could check like this. Like this. Uh, anyway. Okay, I will start from the this side. There is 4 volts. There is 4 volts. And there is 4 volts. And there is 4 volts. So, as you can see, this cell is broken. This one. Uh, I have to remove this nice foam to check if it's really broken. And we'll see. Okay, I think I can... Okay, I, now I will have uh, terminals to connect. Yeah, this cell has zero volts. And that's why this thing is not working. So my first uh, guess was wrong. Yeah, so we have to replace this battery. <laughs> or maybe we have to replace whole thing for the uh, better batteries. <laughs> I will think about it. <laughs>